Hey, everybody. I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on how to get Google to update all of the changes that you make to your site um, faster. So um, this is inspired by a post that I saw in a group this morning about um, how Google was like listing their site in search results with like all of this crazy um, data <laughs> that it was reading like from like their image file names and stuff instead of what they had for the meta title and descriptions. And it was because they hadn't submitted their sitemap to Search Console. That was something they had never heard of before. So I'm not going to show you how to do the sitemap to Search Console um, because th uh, there's a blog post that I'm going to link you to instead for that. This is a different technique that I do um, after I've already done that because my site is older and I have a lot more pages. And I have found that resubmitting the sitemap doesn't update Google as quickly as submitting my sitemap did when my site was brand new. So now my site is like four years old. I have like tons of pages now between all of my blog posts. There's tons of content. So anytime I update the meta title and description of a page um, or add a new blog post, I do this process instead because when I resubmit the sitemap, Google Search Console is all like, yeah, we've got your sitemap. It's great. So submitting the sitemap is something you do over here. You can get your sitemap URL from, which this is mine, the sitemap.xml. You can get that from um, wherever you have your website through. Um, it probably is just the same file name, but I'm not going to say that because I'm not a website expert. But we're going to do something different instead. So the first thing you want to do when you log into console is um, you want to make sure that you're on the right site. So I have two. I have HTTP, which you can see here does not get as much traffic as my HTTPS site. This is the one that most people are uh, viewing my site from, and that's because it's the secure browser. That's what the S is in HTTPS. So make sure that you're on the right one. You want to be updating the right um site listing in Search Console. So log into that, log into there, get on the right one, and then go to your site and go to the page that you want to update. So um, I made a lot of changes to my site recently. I've already updated my homepage and my weddings page, my engagements page I did a while ago, but I made a lot of changes to my wedding pricing page. So this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and update for this tutorial. So you're just going to copy the link and then go back over to Search Console. And once you're on the correct site, you're going to go up here to the search bar where it says inspect any URL. And you're going to copy that URL in and then just hit enter. And so it's going to search for it. <clears throat> so when you're here, if it's a page that you have already that was on your sitemap already or that you've already had it crawl once before because you've made changes, then this is, you get the green check marks. Google's like, yeah, cool. We have this page. We already know about it. But the reason that you would want to submit it is if you made changes to it, like changing the meta title and description um, for SEO purposes, or if like I did, you changed a whole bunch of the actual written content on the page that could benefit you for SEO purposes. So that's what I did. So even though Google recognizes it, they know it from an older version of the page. And so that's why I want to re-index it. So I'm going to request indexing. And it can take a minute or two. So I do this process, like I said, for what I just explained, like if I make major changes to a page, either with meta title, meta description, or just tons of content changes on the page. But I also do this process for every single new blog post that I put out. I don't wait for Google's bots to like reread my sitemap and try to figure it out. Um, and this is because even when I've put like I've made a new blog post and I've waited like days or weeks to do a URL inspection after I've made the blog post, um, I'll do the URL inspection and instead of getting green check marks like it is over here, 
um, it'll all be grayed out, grayed out and it'll be like, oh, we didn't find this URL on Google or in your sitemap. So it's like something is clearly wrong with the bots. <laughs> They're not finding it on my site for some reason. And so that's why I do the URL inspection. And it gets my blog post returned in the search results like the next day. Um, so after we've done the indexing requested, it says it's added to a priority crawl queue. So that means that they're going to send a bot to read my page like super fast. Usually I find it happens within a few hours. Um, definitely it has always happened within a day for me. So which is always super important for me with the blog posts, um, getting it put up on search results really fast. Um, so just hit got it. Don't do it multiple times. So wait until like you've really got your page finished, especially if you're doing SEO changes to like meta title and description until you've got it done um, to put this request in. Um, and then do it for every single page that you need to. If your site is really new, um, so obviously submit your site map first and see how that works out for you. Um, and then as you add a new page or as you make a lot of major changes to a page, do this URL inspection, the indexing request, um, because that'll just help Google understand all the changes that you make to your site and keep your uh, search result listings fresh and correct and what you want them to say instead of a bunch of like weird things. So I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions, drop some comments with your questions and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And definitely I'm gonna link um, that blog post from Sarah Does SEO about how to set up your search console because she's the freaking bomb and I she's like my SEO guru and she is completely the reason that like all of my traffic is like this, which is great. Um, I know it says average position 38.3. Uh, there's a couple that I have here that are probably not that great, but as far as like how I'm positioned, but overall, like I follow Sarah's advice for SEO and I'm on pages one to three for all of my major keywords. And particularly down here where these are all like pretty relevant keywords for my business. And like the Glastonbury Hills Country Club wedding and Saybrook Point in wedding, like those are specific blog posts that I optimized for. Um, and I'm getting clicks and returns for those. Um, like that's all great. Like I used to get the most random shit for keywords that people were finding my website and clicking on my website for that had nothing to do with being a wedding photographer. And now like these are these are all pretty on point and relevant keywords for people to be finding me for. You know, you can't really ever do anything about the name. Like people are going to find you for your name no matter what. Those are always going to be pretty top. But like the rest of this stuff, this is this is all pretty great. I'm really happy with this. And I attribute that to Sarah and everything that she taught me. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, I look forward to the next time.